I've been with that moment, man, where you guys are down, they got the ball, they're over midfield, and you force the fumble to change the game. I mean, how, how big was that moment for you? Uh, it was huge. You know, it definitely was great to see smiles on everybody's faces and be able to bring energy back to the team um, in a huge moment. And then, uh, obviously, we capitalized on it. You saw Ashley Nipsey with the long run. It, it, it's just a, it's a great moment. What's that like for you guys being roommates? To, I mean, in 10 seconds, you guys uh, I mean, it's huge. You know, we love each other. Uh, we're gonna go back to the house and talk about it. You know, and you know, it's uh, it's always good to be able to have great connections off the field and then be able to come onto the field and do great things. Two goes out. You gotta wear the helmet communication. How much does that change things for you in the game? Um, it didn't change a whole lot because I practice it. Um, so I was ready for the moment I've had it in my helmet uh, during practices. Um, so when I hear chains, it was just just like practice. You guys obviously made you know, major improvements in a lot of areas defensively, third down, some other areas, but still couldn't get that final stop before the field ball. I mean, how, how do you kind of look at the good and bad of this one? Uh, we're going to look at it, and we're just going to grow from it. Um, you know, we we have to play all four quarters. Um, no matter how good we start, you know, it's about finishing at the end of the day, and, and we're going to finish next time. How close do you guys feel like you are on defense? A lot of the issues last week, for the most part, seem to be cleaned up tonight. I mean, you guys got the game go four times. That's, that's almost as many sacks as we're going to allow all last year. So how close do you feel like you guys are on defense? Uh, we're very close. But it's just a big shout out to Coach Chins. You know, he gets us right in practice. And we were ready for the moment because of how he had us prepare this week. Um, and we just got to grow on it. You, got, you mentioned you know, you're playing national. Then you guys do it again, another fumble recovery. You take the lead. This place is silent there. I mean, at that point, how do you guys feel when you have a there? Um, it's just, it's great because there's, you know, a big momentum uh, switch right there. You know, being able to see all their fans quiet, you know, that's that's a goal uh, when you're going to a away game. And, you know, it's just us being able to capitalize on opportunities. And then they take the kickoff back right away on this thing. How, how much of a backbreaker was that where you have to leave for a minute or whatever it was? Uh, it was no backbreaker because, you know, we're able to respond in, in moments like that. You know, everybody was just like, let's go. Um, we can't be down on that. You know, smile on our face, let's, let, let's get back to it. Uh, I know you might not have contributed to some of it, but it feels like special teams is such a big emphasis this year. So, I don't know what to ask is, how, how, how does that happen, I guess, with two special teams touchdowns in the game? I mean, they're great returners. Um, you know, that, that's a great team that we're playing. You know, uh, credit to them. Um, and then when it comes down to us, it's just about making plays. So, you know, um, when the moment comes, we just got to capitalize on it. So I know obviously it's a lot of split. You come here at number seven. What positives can you take away from this game? Just knowing that we're going to grow from it and that we're going to be better from this game. Um, it was a big moment. You know, obviously losing this game means a lot to all of us because who wants to lose in a game like this? We, you know, we come here for these games and not being able to uh, win is just – we're going to be able to grow from every mistake that we made and make sure that doesn't happen again. What did you tell the nation about the team? I mean, like you said, obviously you come so close to being the number seven team, you would want them. What did you tell the nation with your effort getting them to the wire? Um, just to know that, you know, we got dogs on our team too. No matter if we're, quote, unquote, an underdog, um, whatever, you know, the media wants to say in those terms, we know that who we have is enough and our best is enough. So. Um, going out every game, just knowing that if we do our job the best of our ability, that we're going to get the win. Just, just you know, you had two tough games, and now get a bye, and get you know three home games in a row. How, how nice is it going to be to be home tomorrow? Uh, it's going to be great because you know we love uh, Bronco Nation, and we know we have their support. So being able to go put on a show for them is going to be huge. Sorry, I think we, we just kind of look at um, last year's team and this year's team. It just it felt like a different team. Uh, it's just a, a, a huge testament to the coaches. Um, they instill confidence in us um, every day at practice, and we know that they have our backs, and we have brothers around us that we just love so much that we're going to do whatever it takes. You got to chunk up their yards and a few explosive plays. What do you guys have to do to really shore that up? You know, that's just 
it can be mental errors. It can be people's eyes. You know, um, it, it just matters that we're gonna be able to go watch the film and and fix it for the next time. All right, thank y'all. Thank you guys.